All right, man. Uh, Brockhampton tier list. Let's just get into it. Uh, start us, starting off at the bottom, we got All American Trash. <sighs> this one's boring. It starts out good because Encino is a good song, but other than that, it's pretty boring. Uh, yeah, it's just it's really sleepy. It just they sound like they're trying to do like a Frank Ocean thing. That's all I really gotta say. As I said, it's just boring. Uh, light five. That's all. It's just it's just boring. That's literally all it is. Um, above that though, in C tier, we got Ginger. Ginger just sounds like, like I, I heard, um, I'm pretty sure it's called Sugar. That's the biggest hit off of here. It's like Brockhampton's biggest song. That's my favorite track off here. That song's so good. But like, everything else is just so like, it just sounds like Saturation 2, like, um, what's the word for it? Uh, leftovers. Like, it just sounds like Saturation 2 Leftovers. It's like, why, why are you doing this, man? Um, I could just listen to Saturation 2 instead of this. Um, it's not a bad album. It's good. It's a good album. It, ju it just it just lacks is all. It, I just wanted more of the R&B stuff with the singing. It's a light seven. It's decent. Above that though, we got TM. I was really expecting a bad album with this one. I think the reason why Brockhampton's why Brockhampton fans hate on it so much is because it was their last album. This is an awful album to go out on. Like seriously, man, this is your last album. You put out a B-Sides record. From what I'm aware of, this is just um, like outtakes from R the Roadrunner sessions. And that's, as I said, now an absolutely awful way to go out on. So yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure Brockham Defense are just salty that this was the last album. Uh, Cause it's, it's, it's a good album. It's decent, you know? It's got some good songs on here, but overall I think my problem with it is that it sounds more bassy, if that's the word for it. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of like, why? Why was this the last album? Like, these last two, like, they could have gone out on Roadrunner. If they went out on Roadrunner, it probably would have been better. But, like, they decided they decided to drop a Kevin Abstract solo album and a B-Sides record and then said bye. You know? Uh, TM is a decent seven. It, it's It's got quality on it, and I was actually surprised by it. I like the track on here. I think it's called, like, Moon Man or something. Um, that's a good song. Uh, as I said, I was talking about the Kevin Abstract solo project that is titled The Family. That's gonna go into B tier. This one's cool. It, it kind of, I feel like both TM and The Family surprised me because I was expecting bad albums because like, you have people like Fantano giving it such low ratings and you have so many Brockhampton fans saying, oh, it's so bad. And then you have other Brockhampton fans, Brock, Brockhampton fans saying, oh, but it's good, you know? Um, in all honesty, I think that the family's just decent. It, it definitely starts out a little weird. I was like, eh, I really don't know if I'm going to enjoy this. And then it started picking up by the end, and I started liking it quite a bit. Uh, it's just really consistent. That's all I really got to say. Uh, no significantly awful songs. No really, really good songs. It's just really consistently good. It's just quality is all. I just wish, like, I just wish Brockhampton left on Roadrunner, man. That's That's such a better album to go off on. It's the family is a light eight. It's a light eight for me. It's quality. Going into A tier though, we got Saturation Three. I I think Saturation Three has one of the best songs out of the entire Saturation trilogy. Trilogy that being Boogie. That's one of my all-time favorite Brock Hampton songs. That song gets me up every time. Uh, but other than that, I don't really think that the, I feel like Boogie and like the closer. Those are my favorite tracks off of here. But then everything else, it's just like Saturation 2 and 1 do it better. It does, it definitely feels like it's a mixture of Saturation 1 and Saturation 2. But I just feel like Saturation 1 and 2 do Saturation 1 and 2 better, if that makes sense. That sounded very jumbled, j very jumbled but as I said, I hope that makes sense. Uh, yeah, it, it's just it just feels a little weaker. I feel like there's a little more filler on here. It's still really good though. It's It's a light 9 for me. Above that, though, we got Saturation 1. This one is really good. I just think it's a little messy is all. I think that it definitely it gets cleaned up more. I think it could be cleaned up more. Uh, off Rip, I really loved it, though. I feel like I'm just going to say right here, I think that I'm not really in a Brockhampton mood. I think I Brockhampton my, I think I Brockhamptoned myself out by, like, listening to literally everything besides TM in, like, three days, I like went on a whole Brockhampton binge. And then now I'm like, you know, I don't really like them as much as I did then. 
uh, I had to give this one a re-listen, and quite frankly, I, ha I had it in like S tier before. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'll, I'll give you the original tier list at the end. But um, it grew off me. I think certain albums grew on me and certain albums grew off me. But uh, as I said, I just feel like Saturation 1 feels a little messy. It feels like they're kind of trying to perfect what they're doing here. It's still really good, though. I'll give it a light 9 as well. Saturation 2 is above it. I think Saturation 2, in all honesty, I don't even... like. I feel like this whole tier list might change in a week. But um, Saturation 2 is also very good. I think that my problem with it, though, is the more uh, stagnant, if that's a good word for it, like instrumentals. I feel like the beats are so much more like one-dimensional. Like a lot of the instrumentals remind me of Jamba from Tyler, the Creator's Wolf, where it's kind of just like, I don't know. It's just it's just very stiff, if that's the word I could describe. It. It's, it's like, that's a good word to describe it with. Um, it's still really good though. Uh, yeah, the clo the closers on all the Saturation Trilogy albums are like so good, man. Like the first time I heard, I remember I didn't really like Saturation 2 at first, but like when I heard the closer, I'm like, I love this album, you know? Um, it it's so good. The closers on here are so good. And they're beautiful. Uh, yeah, Saturation 2 is like a light to decent 9 for me. As I said, these rankings might change in a week. Going into S tier though, we got Roadrunner. Roadrunner is so good. This album has a Danny Brown feature. And it's fire. This album has a JPEG Mafia feature, and it's fire. This album has two ASAP Rocky features, and it's fire. Um, it has a Charlie Wilson feature, and it's fire. It, it just it has so many good features. It sounds so good. It's so put together. I swear, if this was their last album, Brockhampton would have gone out like so well. To me, at least, I, I feel like this definitely should have been their last album. Uh, yeah, it's it's really good, man. I love the closer on here. I think the the second to last track is like my favorite off of here. That uh, that song is so crazy. It, it's it, Roadrunner is just so good, man. It's such a good album. It's a strong nine for me. I really love this album. <clears throat> Above it, though, we have Iridescence. You ask me, like, as I said when I was doing my Brockhampton binge, I would have said this album is a ten out of ten. Honestly, it's kind of grown off me now. It's like a nine to a ten. I just kind of spoiled the ranking, but whatever. Uh, I love this album. I think that it just kind of improves on everything that Saturation was doing. It takes the high energy bangers and it gives us the more R&B cuts and it just throws it all together in this weird mishmash of an album. It, it's so good, man. I think the last track is probably the weakest song on here, though. I think that's why it kind of leaves a weird taste in my mouth. Uh, but I, I feel, I just I just love this album, man. It's, it's so good. It's so consistent. There's literally no skips, no bad songs. Every song just bangs, man. Every song is just so good. It's such it's such a good album. It's so consistent. As I said, it's a strong 9 to a light 10. It's very good. And there's my Brockhampton tier list. This could be like a five-minute video. I don't even know. But as I said, I feel like I just Brockhampton myself out. And in all honesty, I wanted to record this video because I don't want to like not record it later and then just like totally be out of it and not want to do it ever again. So, um... Yeah, there's my Brockhampton ranking. Share yours in the comments, as always. I'm glad you made it this far, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. All right, so I actually just recorded this video like a week or two ago, and I was sleeping so hard. Um, I just recently re-listened to the Saturation Trilogy, and I really underrated them, so I'm going to do a little bit of changing. Uh, satur so Saturation 3 would stay in A tier. It's like a light to decent 9 now. Uh, Saturation 1 S tier. It's a decent 9 for sure. Actually, I'll keep it in A tier. I think it's just like on the same level as Saturation 3. Um, but Saturation 2, on the other hand, is going to go at number 2 on the whole list. It's a 10 out of 10. Um, Roadrunner's still a, a decent to strong 9. As I said, saturate, Saturation 2 is a 10. And and Iridescence is a 10. Easy. Um, that's all I had to do. I was just underrating it heavy when I recorded the video initially. Um, so, yeah, bye.